This is Agadez, capital of Niger's largest province. It's here that the exodus to Europe begins. Lying on one of the main routes across the Sahara, Agadez is owned by smugglers. The commodities they deal in are not just goods, but people too. These are some of the migrants the smugglers will soon send northwards to Libya. From Libya, my dream is to get to Italy and eventually France. I wish to complete my studies there. I will be here for a while though, as I have run out of money. Everyone is waiting, exhausted already, but with a long and difficult journey ahead of them. All these men have friends who've made it to Europe, and they believe they can make it too. Corruption and the lack of education and jobs fuel human trafficking in Africa. The migrants say the smugglers are fleecing them. They have humiliated us on the way. I was forced to strip, and they searched for money and took away all I had. There are numerous police checkpoints, too, that we've had to pay money at. An estimated 2,000 migrants set out across the Sahara from Agadez every week. Recent arrests, roundups and repatriations under the government of Niger's new anti-trafficking law have done little to end the booming migrant trade here. Almost everyone admits it will be hard, if not impossible, to curb smuggling in Agadez. In one of the world's poorest countries and in a town where other opportunities are few and far between, smuggling is a financial lifeline for many local people. Mohamed Ado, Al Jazeera.